morning and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Um, this morning I thought I would show you a new piece of adaptive equipment that I got and have been using for the past couple weeks. It is this um, hair tying tool I'll show you here. It is basically just this piece of string right here with a like a clasp on it that you just pinch with your thumb and forefinger. I think that's what it's called or your pointy finger and you pinch it and it um makes the hole like smaller and wider and i'm going to demonstrate how i have been using it i didn't want to show it to you guys as soon as i got it because i wanted to get the hang of it and um see how i could use it and then i could teach you guys how to use it as well so i woke it up um usually i do this before i even um, wash my face and brush my teeth and stuff um, but I would have been in my PJs and stuff so I did all that took my hair down and I'm gonna show you again I'm gonna put my hair up again and show you how I put my hair in a ponytail to get it out of the way um, every morning um, for as long as I can remember I would ask my mom or whoever I lived with like my sister or something to put my hair in a ponytail because um, it's just something that I can't do I've never really been able to reach up and put my hair in a pony unfortunately so what you do is you make the hole as wide as possible to get it over your head now for me because I can't reach over my head very well I use um, a dressing stick I have these all over my apartment to help me with different things uh, getting dressed you know putting things over my head that kind of stuff so it might look a little embarrassing but this is how I do it. Um, I loop it through here. Now for you, for somebody else who might have a little more range of motion than me, could just, you know, fling it over their head, um, you know, like this, but my arms like don't go that high. So I use something else that can reach over my head. So I go like this. So however you get it over your head, you get it over your head like this, and you have it in the front here. I'm wearing a dark shirt, so I don't know if you can see, but then the, the clasp is in the front. Again, if you can do this without a stick, that's great. I can't really get all my hair out, so I use the stick to get all my hair out. Now, what you do is you um, press the button with your thumb and pointer finger, and your like pulling this down with your other hand and making the loop smaller. If you have the range of motion, you could um, just again, lift it up to your forehead and that's that. For me, I don't really. So I'm going to, again, use the stick. Again, I use like a table to help me get the leverage on my um, elbow and get my arm up higher so if I lean forward that's what I'm doing I'm, I've got my side table right here and I'm gonna be like using that to help me get the the lift and stuff um, right here so you push this down either onto your forehead or or clip or like hold it and you pull with your other arm here down now at this point I'm not pinching anymore I'm just like pressing the button again I use this hand sometimes to like help me get the lift but um I'm not pinch pinching anymore I'm like pressing on my head try not to press like on your forehead because you'll get you'll like scrape it which I've done before so like uh push it on like a softer spot like on your hair anyway you um grab as high as you can here Push down on the button so it lets you pull and then pull forward let go and it will it'll stop like it will um, it won't let go it'll stay at the size you make it basically and you're just gonna keep pulling and pulling and pulling this part here and pinching or pushing that button to make the hole smaller and smaller and then it will wrap all your hair up in a pony on the top of your head and then when I get as far as I can and it's gotten really long 
I then will wrap it around my hand like this. The video that that they show online show and it shows an amputee, so you can wrap it around your forearm as well if you don't have any like grip here, you know. this looks incredibly silly but now I just want to demonstrate that the string is in the front because that's where we that's where you pull it um, but we want to get the clip part that I showed you the black clip um, thing that you push um, round to the back um, if you have the range of motion the video that the company provides for this device shows that you can wrap it around the hair a bunch um, and then it will be tucked away that way. You could even get like a bobby pin and clip the end into your hair and it'll just be um, kind of like a loose circle and stuff. I turn it around and then I just, and because it's turned around, I'll then go like that and it'll stay in the back. If I didn't turn it around, it would want to come to the front all the time. But um, I'll show you really quick what I do to get all this hair out of the way. Um, again, I use a stick, but if you have the range of motion, you can do this without. Now that it's up and away, I'm going to show you the best that I can how I turn it, like, turn the little button to be underneath me. So I just go up. I use the table right here to get, like, the elbow leverage and stuff. just like put it behind me um I do this a lot like before I get dressed when I'm still in my pjs and stuff and then I put my regular clothes on and when I put my other clothes on when I put my regular clothes on um the string will be tucked into my shirt so it won't like bounce around or get in the way for like added security um I obviously take the ponytail out of my hair if it's if it's like stuck in my shirt but other than that I keep the string in there but obviously I'm already dressed for the day so I just like will do that a little bit to push it more in the center it's not perfect but it gets better and stuff every time and again at least it's out of the way but yeah I don't know if you can see but that's the ponytail and yeah and again, um, I don't know if I included it or not, but like you can, if you can reach back here now to the clip and pull the string, you can make it tighter, but you don't wanna risk like just pulling the whole ponytail out as well. Um, it's like, it's a, it's a lot of practice, you know, like if taking it all out and then having to do it again and stuff, you know? All right, that might've been like the most, terrifying thing I've ever filmed, like super vulnerable, but that is what I do and what I have to do to get um, a ponytail, to be a bit more independent, to, um, you know, rely on my friends and family a little bit less. Um, and it's not perfect as I said, but with more practice, hopefully I'll get better and better. And it does the job of getting my hair out of the way all day on a hot day or just every you know in the morning um when i need to wash my face and get ready for the day and stuff so um i love this device i'm so happy that i found it it is really easy to use um whether you have a grip or low grip or no grip or whatever it um it's really helpful and has really improved my independence so i'm super thankful and happy for that um, and I'm so glad that I found it. I'm, I wish I found it a long, long time ago because it would have saved me asking my mom to put my hair in a ponytail a million times over in the 20 odd years that I've had my long hair and stuff. So anyway, I'm glad that I found it now and then I can share it with you guys. Um, I hope this tutorial was um, comprehensive enough and not too boring, but also you could see what I was doing. I'll link the um, website where I bought it. They show um, 
a person with an amputated hand using it so they obviously have no grip and they use their forearm to pull the string down um, in front of them that's one way to do it but this woman also has a lot more range of motion than I do in um, their quote like normal hand um, you know so they're able to put the string over their head and um, things like that a lot easier than me so um, it can work for a lot of different people which is really nice I think this device is really handy and it really helps me a lot and I hope you got some good information from this video and enjoyed watching. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.